And right now, I'd like to welcome back to the Steel Report for this week. This is Pastor Christy Pingle of Radiant Church in Cedar Rapids, a legacy church out on Blairs Ferry Road. And Christy has come back this year to talk about a great event. This is another great event, Christy, coming up on... May 19th. May 19th, and it's the open house for Lynn County foster youth who will be graduating from high school this year. Yes, so the, this is our sixth year mm -hmm. hosting this event. And the last couple of years, we've had 21 students that we've been able to celebrate and honor. And uh, this year, we already have about 14 signed up. They still have a little bit more time here to sign up, so we could have more than that. Mm -hmm. And it's just a great event to really honor these students that have beaten the odds in foster care. Yeah. The rate of graduation for foster kids in Iowa is not great, is it? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. It's only around 52% yeah. of kids that are raised in foster care that end up graduating high school. And then beyond that, only 3% will graduate college. Amazing, yeah. And we have had one or two students in the last few years that have asked if they could be part of the graduation open house that are graduating college. And how can you say no? Mm -hmm, exactly. Because they didn't get a high school graduation, so we might as well give them a college graduation party. You'll have this basically in your lobby area. Yep. Is the public invited? Absolutely. Yes, there's two ways you can get involved. One would be to donate. We get business sponsors that donate money so that we can get every one of these students gifts. Um, we have tried to work it out so that every student gets around $1,000 worth wow. of gifts and gift cards. So it really helps them on their next chapter of life. Sometimes it helps them put gas in their car that day. Mm -hmm. You know, um, So we definitely could use donations and then we would love for people to show up the day of May 19th at 3 o'clock. It's an open house format. You can come and give them cards, encourage them. I know it might seem odd to come to a grad party of people you don't know, <laughs> but these students, we just want to cheer them on and celebrate them and let them know their community cares about them. You can send a gift in ahead of time. You can donate online if you okay. just want to you know, sometimes it's hard for people to give $5 per student or $10 right. per student or whatever, but if you can give whatever you can give, you can uh, donate online. Our church website is radiantchurch.live. If you go backslash events and look for foster youth graduation, there's a donate button on there. Um, so that's one way to donate. But if you get, if you want to give money or gift cards ahead of time, you can just mail it to the church. Your congregation really gets involved. Yes. Yes. They... They donate money. They, uh, we have some of them become a personal, personal advocate right. for the students so that they're with them the day of the event so it's not so weird and awkward. And um, yeah, they have really shown, and they show up. That's part of it too, is they show up to show their support for these students. Yeah, because as I understand it, maybe you can correct me on this, but each student will have their own table Yes. in the lobby of Radiant Church, yep. and then what will happen? Just kind of co come into the church and just greet them, be with them, yep. conversation, whatever, right? Yeah, they'll have their own table with a banner with their name on mm -hmm. it and a card for the, a box for the cards on every table, and you can just, you know, talk to them, find out what their plans are for the future. Uh, we also have some ladies in our church that have been making quilts. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. every student gets a handmade twin size quilt um, but yeah you can just come talk to them walk around the room it's open house format so you mm. come and go as you want to and we know that May is graduation time so all of you watching are used to giving gifts to graduates that you know how about considering a gift for someone you don't know who really in many cases didn't have a chance as mm -hmm. they went into the foster care system and for example we had beautiful young lady last year, Morgan Sullivan, on the show, and she had graduated a few years ago, but took mm -hmm. part in one mm -hmm. of your first, I think this is the sixth annual yeah. open house coming up, and Morgan had talked about being, I think, in the foster care system since she was like 12 years old, yeah. and had been in many, many foster homes, and that's the case for so many foster kids. They deserve a chance to be recognized and show what they can accomplish and what they will accomplish. Yeah, They're, they've been on their own. You know, the Bible talks about taking care of widows and orphans. Mm -hmm. And we really feel like that's what we're supposed to help do as much as possible, as much as possible. And it's just an honor to celebrate these students and to give them a leg up on the next chapter of their life. And I think last year, uh, 
your, your husband, Pastor Brian, recognize these students by saying, he wanted to make sure we point out, none of this goes to the church. All of no. these donations go directly to these foster care students and yes. graduates, right? That's yep. a really important aspect because sometimes I think people go, oh, what, where's my money going? Well, they're going right to the kids this year. Yeah. yeah, we've had businesses that don't like to donate to churches. Right. But we're trying to get them to understand all of it is split evenly between the students. We don't keep any of it. So how it started was uh, we just wanted to do something to help with foster mm -hmm. care and we had the opportunity to meet with two different caseworkers and we were able to ask them questions about where are the gaps? As we know, there's a lot of gaps, but what, what are the gaps and, and where can we help? And so these caseworkers mentioned there's this grad party in Cedar Falls, Waterloo area that we've always wanted to be able to have something like that in Lynn County, mm -hmm. but we don't have the resources or time to make it happen. And so we said, we can do that. That's something we can do. We can make that happen. And so we started working with the caseworkers and coming up with a plan and getting donations. And now that's what we do every year. And so these students, when they graduate high school, they, they're out of the foster care system, but they can opt back in and then they work with Foundation Two mm -hmm. to help them. If they didn't graduate, they can get their GED. They help with um, helping them find housing and transportation. And they, they still get some assistance from the government um, but then the workers with Foundation 2 work alongside them for a longer amount of time. Yeah, I mean, because some of the kids have been in foster care a very long time. They may, obviously the goal is always to reuni reunify the foster child with their biological family. Sometimes that just isn't possible. Mm -hmm. And what you're talking about is a great program, the Foundation 2 Aftercare Program, which has yep. helped so many of our youth here in, in many, many years. Yeah. Yeah, and it's another reason why it's so important for our community to show up to this, because mm -hmm. some of these students have some family that will come to mm -hmm. this graduation open house, and some have nobody that comes with them. They're, they're not in contact with their family, their biological families, or their foster families maybe aren't super involved, and so that's why it's important for us as a community to show up for them. So again, the date is May 19 from 3 to 4.30. It's an open house format. You can come as you want at Radiant Church on Blairsbury Road in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Two ways to get involved. You can donate and you can show up. Uh, Pastor Christy Pingle of Radiant Church, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I really appreciate you coming in again and say hi to your, your husband there, the I lead will. pastor, Brian, and also those foster kids. We hope that they'll have a great turnout from the public and from yes. your congregation and it really all across Lynn County. This is a Lynn County event, so yep. that's, that's really important. So Christy, thanks a lot for Thank taking you, that time to come in. Hope you have a great turnout Thank on you so May 19th. That's a Sunday, by the way, out at Radiant Church. More coming up on the Steel Report in just a moment.